Y'all's favorites kind of tie into my favorite. Now this, I'm kind of sad I am. I'm just not really here for the shade range. Hey y'all, we're about to go shop for your favorites. I just put on some sunscreen. Skin proud. I know I talk about this a lot cause it's so bomb, but we're about to go shop for your favorites. I asked you guys in one of my recent videos to just leave me a list of your current favorites. So that's what we're about to do today. And surprisingly, a lot of y'all's favorites are products that I've either had before, I tried and I didn't really care for, or just products that I actually need to repurchase. So, and most of the products are, hold on, I'm putting on this Amicole Lip Treatment Oil. This is their new shade in the um, shade 517. But most of the products are located at Sephora. So I made a list on my notes and I should have put you guys like at name by each. I'll have to go back to the video. Um, but from Sephora, um, I have the Urban Decay Lash Primer and this person said that she uses the lash primer for brows. And I'm interested in trying it out like that. Um, she said that she used it before prepping or before applying her brow products. Hourglass Loose Setting Powder. Okay, I tried this powder out when it first came out a couple years ago and I wasn't a fan of it. So I'm gonna try it out again. And I see that they have like a mini size. Hopefully um, it's still in stock. Um, Patrick Ta Brow Pencil. This is actually a product I've been looking at. So I'm very excited to try that out. Iconic. Now, okay, let me pause. I tried to make a list of products that I can complete a full face with. Um, so yeah, Iconic London Skin Tint. Now this, I'm kind of sad I am because the shade range wasn't the best. It told me on Sephora that they couldn't find my shade match. So I'm kind of like, mm, okay, we're gonna see if, um, you know, if it works. Gucci mascara, this is gonna be a repurchase. I think this is gonna be my third one. Y'all, that is actually one of the best um, like high-end luxury mascaras, but it's not expensive. So very excited to get that again. And the Hourglass Concealer, which is another repurchase of mine. So you guys, y'all's favorites kind of tie into my favorites. <laughs> um, so I'm very excited to try that. So, okay, for, Oh, there's another product at Sephora that I want to try. Um, I think I've tried it in the past, but I want to kind of get it as, like I want to get a lighter shade in it to see if I can just use it as my under eye setting powder, but it's the Sephora Pressed Setting Powder. Um, I should have moved that down to Sephora list. Okay, and then drugstore. I think we're going to go either to Target or um, Ulta for these products. L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation. Um, Revlon lipstick in the shade Rum Raisin. Y'all, I think I had that shade years and years and years ago. So I'm very excited to see if I can find it again. NYX Eyebrow Gel. Never tried this out. So we're going to see, um, how that works. And then Jones Road Miracle Balm. I don't think I've ever seen Jones Road in store. I don't know. We're going to look for it though. Um, so yeah, those are all of the products that... I feel like I can complete an entire full face with. So we about to go to the store and see if we can find all of these products and we're gonna come back home and put them on the face. Ah, I'm excited. Y'all, and I have a new toy that um, hopefully it catches good footage. This is the Canon Power Shot V10. It's a really, oops, I just hit the, the mic, but it's a really, really, really tiny camera and i like to try to be um, discreet when i vlog in store because i don't like all eyes on me so this is just a little tiny camera it actually fits in my purse that i'm carrying so you know and it films in 4k so yeah and there's like a little flip screen how cute is this but i'm gonna vlog um with this in store and we're gonna see how the footage comes out I mean, I've tested it out already, but I haven't really tested it out like in the store, in the store. So yeah, in store, this will be used out of the store. We're getting back on this camera. But anyway, let's go ahead and go because I'm very excited. 
All right, we're testing out the little mini camera that I have. You can see that the angle is pretty wide. I also have this camera just in case, you know, things go left. And hopefully we find everything in the store. All right, we made it to the store. So the first thing I think we're gonna try to find is the Sephora pressed powder. Okay. Yeah, something tickling my throat and I do not wanna cough. Made it to Hourglass. We're just gonna see if they have the mini and the loose setting powder. Now that I think about it, it might be at the checkout line because that's where they usually have the mini products. Excuse me, I'm gonna get right behind you. All right, found it. We made it to Gucci and I'm gonna get that mascara. Let's hope that they have. Yes, it looks like they have a couple in stock. Okay, so we got the Gucci mascara. Just have a Patrick Ta, Iconic London, and Urban Decay. Uh, look, Urban Decay. Oh, Hourglass Concealer. Forgot to get that. Hopefully they have my color in the mini size because I really don't want to get the, um, the full size. I wasn't looking good. It's right here. Yay! All right, let's see about this Iconic London skin tint. See the range? Like, I'm just not really here for the shade range, but um, I think this color might be the shade I need to get. Neutral deep. Because this one looks too light, and then this one looks too dark. So, I think we're gonna try neutral deep. All right, so we're gonna try this. Now we are at Patrick Ta, we gotta find that brow pencil. And I think this is it right here. Let's cross our fingers that they have my shade. I think I'll be in, uh, let's see, dark brown. Yeah, let's go for dark brown. I wear dark brown and a lot of brow pencils anyway, so we're gonna go with this one. So we have one more product to get, the Urban Decay Lash Primer. Let's see if I can go find that one. Walk past Urban Decay. But we made it. Lash Primer. I don't even know. Oh, I think it's down here. They are out of the Lash Primer. This right here. It must be real good. What's this? Oh, there it is. Y'all, I got a pee and I have on a bodysuit. This is not gonna go well. We have one more stop though. And it's gonna be really quick because we have a couple products to get. I don't even know if I'm gonna find Jones Road, um, but L'Oreal Freshwear Foundation. I don't have that foundation anymore. Um, so hopefully I can find it again. Uh, Revlon Lipstick NYX Eyebrow, L Eyebrow Gel. And that's it. I don't know, y'all tell me where Jones wrote, like where would I find that, in CVS? Warriors? They don't have the NYX brow gel, we might have to go to Ulta. They do have the L'Oreal Freshwear. I think I'm shade 515. Yeah, cause 520 is too orange. So we're gonna go with 515. Surprisingly, y'all did not say a bronzer unless I overlook, but I see that they have the infallible bronzer in here. <gasps> should we get it? I think we should. I think we should. All right, now we need to find the Revlon lipstick in the shade Rum Raisin. And here are all of their lipsticks. They don't have a lot to choose from, so I don't know, girl. So they don't have that shade, but I see they have a new shade called Cream. It's like a nude color. So I think I'm just gonna get this one. Okay, so got the Revlon. Can't find the NYX Brow Gel. They have it, but they don't have my shade. And they don't have Jones Road in here. So I think we are done. You know, I do kind of want to get a new neutral drugstore palette. And I see this one from NYX and she's cute. 
She's actually really cute. Okay, the lighting is kind of dull, but she's actually kind of cute. So yeah, let's get this. All right, so we made it back. I went ahead and washed my face. I don't have anything on it. So I'm gonna spray some of this Kosas Plump Juicy Serum. Let's spray it all over the face. <laughs> Give me that extra moisture on the skin. And I'm gonna put the sunscreen on again. Before we go into all of the other products. I can't remember if I saw anyone mention a primer. I probably overlooked that one too, but I don't remember seeing anything about favorite primers, so. And I haven't been putting primers on anyway. I've just been going straight into sunscreen. Well, prep my skin with my morning skincare but i mean it's not morning anymore <laughs> and i'll completely wash it all off when i got back home but um usually that's what i would put on my face all of my skincare products and then top it off with the sunscreen and then i'll go straight into my makeup routine so first thing we're gonna do is the brows and now that i think about it it's a good thing i didn't find the nyx brow product because we're using the urban decay on the brows instead of the lashes. I might use them on the lashes too. Let me find something to put. I'm just gonna throw this on my lips because they're dry. The Amicole Clear Lip Oil Treatment. But yeah, let's try this out. Mm, Urban Decay Supervision Volumizing Lash Primer. Let's see how it works on the brows. I hope it's not too, I mean, it is a white product, like the product itself is white so I'm hoping it's not gonna like uh, I don't know let's try it let's see okay so it's going on clear it's definitely going on clear I don't know how much to put on I'm just rubbing it in the brows like that. I don't know how much though. Like, is this enough or do I just dip it back in there and put some more on? I mean, I think they look pretty good. Obviously I'm gonna go over it with a brow pencil, but we're just brushing them in place first before before we put the brow pencil on. While that sits, we are going to just grab some stuff out of the bag so I can have it out in front of me. So we have the skin tint and we also have the L'Oreal Freshwear Foundation. I think I'm gonna use a skin tint because I'm really, really, really interested in seeing how this is gonna look. Um, and I've used the L'Oreal Foundation before. It's just been a long time, but I'll definitely use that um, in another video. But let's try the skin tint out. Um, I really want to finish up my brows first before putting anything else on, but I don't know about this color, y'all. I feel like this was like the only color on the shelf that would kind of sort of work, um, but we'll see. Um, brow. Let's just go ahead and try to put the product in the brow before, you know, because I think I can just go straight into my brow product. Patrick Ta um major brow defining brow pencil and again i got the shade dark brown yeah so i've been looking at this anyway so i was glad that um you guys said that this is one of your favorite brow pencils girl i almost got scared because i thought it wasn't in the box but it's stuck in there girl i was about to say i got an empty box this thing is light okay she's cute she is cute so that's the spoolie and then here. Oh, this is like kind of flat. Let me let y'all see what I'm talking about. Mm, is it gonna pick it up? 
See the tip? It's not like round. It's kind of flat in a way. And honestly, it's reminding me of the Huda brow pencil because y'all know that thing is really skinny and that's actually some of you guys' favorite brow pencil too. I saw that in the comments and y'all know I love, love, love that brow pencil. I use it so much to where I just had to kind of give it a break. But yeah, this is like really, really skinny like the um, like the Huda, but it's not round like the Huda. And I'm noticing as I'm stroking it through my brow that the product is really pigmented. Like if you have a heavy hand, you're gonna get a lot of that pigment in the brow. So just kind of be careful with that. She's cute. She's cute. Okay. And the, um, the lash primer, it didn't make my brows hard. I thought it was gonna you know, make it really hard, but it's not. And also I didn't let it sit too long. So that could probably be one of the reasons why it's not hard, but it definitely does um, help with keeping your brows in place. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. I think they look pretty good. I'm gonna just take that spoolie and just kind of rake through the brow to just kind of blend it all in. All right, so okay, that is going in the vanity. We're gonna take some of this. Um, I'm not gonna put the hourglass concealer under my brows. I'm just gonna do what I usually do, taking the Rim Beauty concealer and just placing this under the brows to clean them up. I actually wanna pop a little bit of this concealer on my little friends to spot conceal. Mm, right here, right here. Honestly don't need much, but just a little bit. It's Patting it in. I really wish Sephora didn't discontinue this concealer. Cause it is so good for spot concealing. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna see how this super smoother blurring skin tint works on the skin. We're gonna see how it looks, see how it blends out. And I am gonna use my sponge instead of my fingers this time. Let me squirt some on my hand so y'all can see the color. I don't know, I mean, it might work. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna put some on. Wait a minute, this might be good. I'm putting all of it on because I honestly don't wanna waste the product on my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and put every last drop of it on. And then we're gonna rub it in or blend it in with the sponge. Yeah, in store it looked darker, but hold on. The middle of my face is definitely lighter than the outside of my face, but I feel like once I blend it all out, it's gonna look good. Yeah, it is a little dark, but I'm liking the finish of this skin tint. The shade before it was way too light and the shade after it was way too dark. But once we put my concealer on and the setting powder and all that, see, I'm gonna need a little bit more to go at the top. Once we put, I'm just putting like a little dot. Once we put the rest of the products on my face, it's definitely gonna even out. But y'all, wait a minute. This might be looking good. This might be looking real good. Hold on, let me blend it all out up on my forehead. This might be looking real good. And I use my sponge. And y'all know the sponge be soaking up the product. Skin is looking good. We're gonna put on some concealer. Let me kind of clear out this card first though. All right, so next we have the Hourglass Concealer. I use the shade Maple. 
This used to be my fa one of my favorite like high-end concealers. And I see that they have like little minis. So I was like, let me just get a mini size because I really don't need a full size concealer since I always use my e.l.f. concealer anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna place this under the eyes and this is a full coverage concealer, y'all. I don't know y'all, I might be going back to this. Definitely an old favorite. But we might be going back to this concealer. I might have to put Elf Cosmetics, um, give it a little rest and go back to my old favorite, which is this right here. Look at that. That's all I'm using. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not putting it on the middle of my face because I'm going to use whatever. Oh, let me go ahead and take out this setting powder. But yeah, I'm just going to try to um, take the sponge in those areas because it's going to have the product on it on the sponge anyway. I forgot to take this out. I don't want to let this sit on my face too long, but we're going to give this a try again. Yeah, when I first tried out this hourglass setting powder, was not a fan of it. It was not. Maybe it was the concealer I was using back then. I don't know. But I feel like if the product, like, we're using an hourglass concealer. So I'm sure, well, I don't know. I'm hoping the powder works really well with the concealer. So let's go ahead and blend this out. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, I think we're going for like full coverage today. And then the product that's on the sponge, I just take it on my lid and a little bit down here on the chin where I would usually apply the concealer. But with this concealer, honestly, a little bit goes a very, very long way. You don't need a lot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we might be going back to the hourglass concealer because I forgot how freaking good this concealer was. Look at it. All right, girl, let's try this powder out. Where did I put it? There it is. It better be some good. <laughs> I'm going to use the other side of the sponge. I'm... Hoping I like it. Okay. 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 Hold on. Let me put this side on too so I can see both sides. Okay. It's def it was definitely the concealer. It was definitely the concealer I used years ago because what concealer was I hooked on back then? I think it was a Too Faced Total Coverage Concealer. I think that's what it was. I think. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, okay. Yeah, yeah, this looks way better than it did. Or is this, hold on. Yeah, it's the same powder. It's the same powder that I tried. Oh, I was about to say, maybe they, it's a different one, different formula, but I don't, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, pause. Because now that I look at it, like, it's, it looks more yellow than it did back then. Like, did I get the right one? Hourglass Veil. Yeah, this is it. Translucent Setting Powder. Why did it look so white when I tried it out last time? Like, the powder was, like, white. There was no color to it. This is, I mean, it's translucent, but it kind of looks like a banana powder. I don't know, girl, but... The skin is looking good. She is looking really good. Okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. We're on to a good start, like a really good start. So now, hopefully this don't mess anything up. This is the Sephora 
powder, the Sephora Compact Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. And I got shade 66 Mocha Spice. So let's just hope this doesn't like alter the color of the skin tint. But I mean, I don't know, girl. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I needed something to just, you know, cause y'all know, y'all know I like to go back over my face with the foundation powder to just pretty much set the face. Um, so we are going to see how this looks. I'm just gonna take it around the perimeter of my face. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it is pretty dark. Do y'all see that? <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, I'm not going to dip it back in there. Let's just do this number right here. Take it on my forehead. Mm, I can actually put a little bit more on my forehead because this is where... I put my bronzer and I don't mind the foundation powder being too dark because when the foundation powder is too dark, even just putting it on my forehead, it looks like a bronzer. So that means I don't really have to go in with a lot of bronzer on my forehead, which I usually do anyway, but yeah, yeah, this powder is too dark. I'm going to have to take it back or exchange it for the color that I really wanted. They didn't have it. So I just settled on this color. Um, and it's a shade before this one. So yeah, we might have to go make an exchange cause I really don't want to just, you know, continue to keep products knowing that they don't work for me. Cause that just, y'all, it just be too much. It's like hoarding products knowing I'm not going to use it. So instead of going in with, bronzer because I mean the skin is already pretty warm from that Sephora powder instead of doing a bronzer let me show you what I'm gonna do let me grab this little brush we are gonna take the hourglass setting powder take a random brush dip it in there and I'm gonna go right under the area like I would put bronzer right here and I'm just gonna take the brush right up under there. And this is just kinda gonna kinda give me a little, and it's gonna kinda give me the illusion of having bronzer on cause you're just kinda canceling out down here. Is it, hold on. I might should have done this with a sponge. I'm gonna let it sit for a second and do the other side. So when you do this, it kind of looks, see that? You can already tell, like, look at that. It looks like I put on bronzer, but it's really just powder foundation. I'm gonna let that sit and marinate for a little bit. And then we're gonna sweep it away. But I will, oh wait, we did get a bronzer. Ugh, dang, L'Oreal Infallible. Mm. See if that powder, if that, um, if that Sephora powder wasn't too dark, we definitely would have went in with this. But this definitely looks like it's gonna give me the warmth, like all the warmth. So yeah, let me find a brush to put this on with. Y'all, this Tom Ford brush be shedding like crazy. And I've had it for years, but it be shedding. I'm putting some of that bronzer on. Okay, 
let me sweep away that powder. It's coming out good. Look at that, y'all. Very sun-kissed. Very, very sun-kissed right now. And I ain't mad at it <laughs> at all. At all. I'm going to do something else. Hold on, let me grab that brush. This little brush right here, I'm going to take the bronzer one more time. Doop, doop, doop. And y'all know the drill. Y'all know I always do this. Kind of contour my nose a little bit. One thing I'm noticing that hourglass powder, it's not very mattifying. Like I'm starting to see a little bit of glow. And I don't mean like glow like, um, illuminating glow but I mean like dewy glow if that makes sense so my skin you know because my skin was pretty dewy before putting on the products but usually when I put on a loose setting powder like the what is the powder I've been using the Sephora powder um or my Huda powder it still looks pretty matte but I'm starting to see I don't know if y'all can see like right in here it's not as matte as I'd like it to be, but I'm not gonna do anything with it yet. Maybe like once I'm done with my face, I'll go back in with something else to just mattify under here. Um, yeah, so I have some eyeshadow to play with, some new eyeshadow from NYX. It's the Ultimate Warm Neutrals. So I think they just revamped the original neutral eyeshadow palette. This one just looks, it almost looks a little bit bigger too. Um, it has like little paw prints in it, animal prints. Let me try to get this sticker off, girl. And I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna quickly throw on a few shades, probably like two, one or two, and call it a day. Um, yeah, this honest, mm, no, it's actually a little bit different because the original NYX Neutrals palette, it had more like orange shade. I mean, there is an orange shade right here, but I don't know, y'all have to tell me, is this the same as the original one? Did they just, Make it look better. Y'all let me know. Anyway, we are just going to go in with, what do we wanna go in? Yeah, my skin is starting to get dewy, girl. But I like it, I like it. I really like it. Um, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put some powder right here. There, there we go. Okay, let's do this shade at the very bottom. And we are gonna pop it on, ooh, ooh, pigment, pigment. Pop it all over the lid. I haven't really done like a smoky eye in a while, so let's do that. I'm just taking this one color all over the lid. And then, yeah, that's pretty. And then y'all know me, I like to mix stuff. Um, and I also like to stick with the same blending brush Let's do a little bit of that middle shade, that rust brown, orange, berry. Oh no, but let's put that on into the crease. And this just kind of helps blow out that shade. Just 
just like that. That looks pretty good. Very nice and smoky. She's cute. And we'll play with this a little bit more um, later on, but um, are we doing lashes today or not? Are we or are we not? I'm fixing my brow. Yeah, let's put on lashes today. Let's do that. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you the last few products. So we have the Gucci Mascara, which this is gonna be last. We also have the L'Oreal Foundation, which we use the skin tint in today's video. So we're gonna save that. And then the last thing I got, I didn't show y'all in Target, but I went ahead and grabbed this minted lip gloss because I don't have this shade. This is called Unpinkable. And she is such a really pretty pink shade so we're gonna use this as well but i'm gonna pop my lashes on and um i'll come back and do the rest of the face all right y'all we got lashes on i was going back and forth on whether or not i wanted to put lashes on so i just said you know what let me just throw these on really quick and i shouldn't have did it because this one was giving me problem and now my eyes are water ring i did forget to mention the revlon lipstick that i picked up in the shade cream so we're gonna put this on first before putting the minted gloss on um but i want to go over this because i don't like how shiny the middle of my face is like i'd rather this be matte than anything but look how sh like it's mm -mm 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 -mm. so what we're gonna do is take a little bit of the huda setting powder this was definitely one of the reasons why i didn't like the hourglass powder a couple years ago is because it was too shiny on my skin but that powder was white like it was white and it was a veil it was a translucent veil powder so did they just change it to a more yellow looking powder I mean, is it the same powder? I don't know, but I do know. I don't like how it just started looking. See that, that that's what I like. Just a little madness, you know? Just a little bit of madness right here. Just like that. But right now it's not like, it's not really getting my vote. The hourglass powder isn't getting my vote right now. Okay. All right. All right, that's so much better. So much better. I'm gonna take some right here. So much better. Yes, yes, yes. Like, can y'all see the difference? Do y'all see what I'm talking about? All right, almost done. Let's put on the mask. There it is, the Gucci mascara. If you haven't tried anything from Gucci, try this mascara. Just try it. The wand is perfection. It's not too big, it's not too small. And the product, okay, I already dipped it in there one time. The product does not clump. It's like the perfect mascara. And I'm not gonna put a blush on today. I'm just gonna keep it plain. Cause that's what I like. I like just a plain, bronzy, smoky type of look. Um, let's try this Revlon lipstick and see what the color looks like. If I can get it open. I usually don't be having like tweezers near me, but surprise, surprise, I had them near me today. All right, 
So, oh, that's pretty. It's a light nude, beige, pinky type of nude. Let's see what it looks like swatched. This is really sheer, like really, really, really sheer. Okay, it looks like a baby pink almost. So let's just put this on the center of the lips. Colors like this, I like to keep it on the pout. And I do have a little bit of that Amicole clear lip treatment oil, so my lips are still kind of glossy. But I'm just putting it right here. And then I'm gonna take, um, I need a lip liner. Do I have the one that I want in here? Definitely don't see it. Don't know what happened to it. So let's just not use a lip liner today. I mean, it looks fine. It looks fine without a liner. I think it does. Now let's take the minted gloss. Look how pretty this color is. I'm gonna put this all over the lips. It's really, really sheer as well. But this is just gonna give me that glossy finish. And this smells like cupcakes. I love, love, love the way it smells. Only thing is, I just wish the applicator was a little bit either bigger or a little bit more flat because it's a lot of brush. Like it gives a lot of brush and not enough product, if that makes sense. Like spongy, it's very spongy. So it soaks up a lot of the gloss. So you have to keep dipping it in there and applying kind of like the NARS concealer. If you know, you know, but no, there you go. I really wish I had a liner. Like what happened to my lip liner? Like for real, for real, what happened to my lip liner? That's so weird. I just saw it in here earlier today. Let's try something. Let's use the Makeup by Mario lip color in the shade Caramel and just take it on. Oh no. I'm just gonna kind of line the lips a little bit with it. There we go. It just kind of tones down the lip. You know, it doesn't look too washed out. It just toned it down a little bit more. So that is it, y'all. I'm gonna spray my face with my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist. I saw the Urban Decay all nighter setting spray um and a few of you guys' favorites and i was gonna get it but i've used that thing so many times like so many times in the past it wasn't like it wasn't one of those products that i used before and i forgot how it worked like kind of like some a couple of the products that i use today um so i was like let me just pass on it you know and just use my tatcha luminous dewy mist because i love this spray so 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 much I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my um, Charlotte Tilbury, just a tiny bit of it, and go around this area one more time. And this is a finishing powder, so you can use this. Like this can, this can be your last step in your makeup routine. So yeah, so that is it, girl. This is how it all turned out and it came out really, really good. Like I was really side eyeing like for real, for real, <laughs> that skin tint. She almost didn't make it, but y'all, I like it. I do. I like the finish. The color can definitely like, if they had more colors, I would 1000% go back and get like my exact shade, but I'm not going to turn, um, I'm not going to take it back. I'm going to keep it because I do like the finish. I like how, like, I just like how it freaking looks on my skin. I didn't really give this bronzer a good chance because I feel like the skin was already 
warm enough. Um, but you guys will definitely see this bronzer in another Get Ready With Me. Um, the Sephora powder, I'm gonna go back and exchange this shade for the shade before it because honestly, I like the powder. It is a matte powder. It does give coverage. So I can definitely see myself using this. I just need to get the right shade. Um, what else did I try out? Oh, the Hourglass setting powder. Yeah, we're gonna try this out one more time just to see if it's something that I wanna keep or return. I'm definitely gonna try it out with my e.l.f. concealer because I have not used this with the e.l.f. and y'all know this is my favorite concealer. Absolute favorite concealer. So we're gonna try this powder out with the e.l.f. concealer and see if anything changes. Um, so yeah, you'll see that again. The Urban Decay Lash Primer. Dang, I didn't put on my lashes. I was gonna put this on my lashes, but I forgot. But it did work good with my brows, so I'm not, you know, no complaints there. The brows look pretty good. They are in place, like they're, it's not hard though. Like I can tell a diff, I can tell I have on something but it's not too hard. It's definitely not giving gel. It's just a good brow prep. So definitely keeping this and um, I definitely wanna see how it looks on the lashes with mascara. Uh, I think all the other products, what else did I have? Oh, the Gucci mascara. Y'all know this is one of my favorites um, and I had to repurchase it because it was definitely one of my favorites and it's you guys' favorite too. So. Happy to have that in my collection again. And then the NYX Neutrals palette is the Warm Neutrals, Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette. Blended really nicely. And yeah, and the colors are my type of colors. Like definitely a palette that I would actually use. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. I don't think I have the original NYX Neutrals palette anymore. I think I decluttered it. But I wanna say this is like, almost identical but as far as like the the um uh quality of the shadow this one in my opinion like the way it blended out it was easier to work with than the original neutrals palette from nyx i don't know it could just be me i don't know um oh and the patrick ta brow pencil i really like this i like how skinny it is too so like that am i missing anything else Lipstick we tried, the color is cute. Definitely something I feel like I already have in my collection, like color-wise. I don't have this shade in the Revlon lipstick, but I feel like I have the same exact shade in another lipstick. But the formula is really nice, very creamy and smooth. Um, and then the Minted Gloss, very pretty color, you guys. Again, this is in the shade um, Unpinkable. But I think that's it. I think so. If I missed anything, of course, you'll see it in the description, but this was so fun. If you guys have any more favorites, let me know, because I definitely want to do this again. And if you didn't comment on that last video, definitely leave your comment in this video and leave a list of your current favorite makeup products. And we will go back to the store to shop your favorites. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.